The Midrash in this week's Pasha quotes a verse in Tehillim which says, Achor v'kedim tzartani. First and last he formed me. One understanding of the verse is that Hashem formed me for this world, which is called the first world, and for the next world, which is the last world. In other words, it's telling us, the verse is telling us, the Midrash is telling us, every single person has the potential of having a wonderful life in this world and in the next world. That is every single person. Now, seemingly, this contradicts another teaching, another teaching of our rabbis. They teach not everyone merits two tables, which means to say that very, very few people merit material prosperity and spiritual prosperity. There are those who become very materially rich, but spiritually they remain extremely poor. And there are those people who become spiritually rich, but materially they remain very poor. Only very few individuals merit two tables. Doesn't this clash with what we said before? That a person has the potential to be happy. Every single person has the potential to be happy in this world and in the next. The answer is, the simple answer is, that happiness does not d depend on material wealth. It's true, only few people can be spiritually wealthy and material wealth, materially wealthy as well. But to be happy in this world doesn't depend on material wealth. And therefore, if a person living a Torah lifestyle, if he's focused on true Torah values, and he lives with these values, he lives with these goals, the Torah goals, he can be tremendously happy in this world. He's happy despite not being very rich. And this happiness itself is his key to eternal happiness in the world to come. May we all merit to reach such happiness in this world and in the next.